Guys, I'm reporting in today, not as Rick the Stick, not as Rick Boogs, not as Mr. Del Hagen. I'm just going to report into you as Eric Bugenhagen, okay? Because this is going to be more of a serious talk, all right? We're going to throw the, the cool muscle cooking aprons out the window, all right? All the hot golden tidbits. But you know what? Let me take that back. I retract that statement. This is Rick the Stick reporting in because I got a hot golden tidbit that revolves around mind set something that we haven't talked about in quite a while mindset specifically confidence specifically believing that you're the man now guys if you believe that you're the man you will achieve being the man or at least you'll be a little bit closer to being the man now what does the man even mean well in my opinion the man is you know he runs the roost he's the the cock of the walk you understand what i'm saying he's the big bull the big bull in the pasture he's the man now guys I want to give you guys some examples because I'm sitting here in the car. I got these long drives. As I start to work more, I'm driving more. And I want to keep pumping out material. I don't want to be on these, you know, week-long, two-week hiatuses like I was when I was sick. I got some golden nuggets and I want to throw them at you. I mean, after all, this is, I'm, you know, I'm hogging the toboggan, boogenhagen, throwing knowledge at your noggin. So why don't we get some more knowledge spewed out at you? That's what I do. I spew knowledge, spew golden tidbits. So... I want to give you guys some examples of how confidence and just even believing, just even telling yourself that you're the man is going to make you more successful in life. And it really, I mean, what is being successful in life? What does that even mean? Well, that means that you are able to accomplish your goals, basically. Now, as you know, I'm good friends with Webster. I'm familiar with Webster. And we talked about his, you know, uh, most popular book in the world for centuries and centuries, and that's Webster's Dictionary. Now, but I don't have Webster's Dictionary or Webster with me at the moment, so I don't know exactly what the definition of successful is, but I would go out on a limb and say that it's the ability to accomplish your goals, right? Whatever it is you choose, you pursue in life, you are able to attain that goal, attain those accomplishments. So I just want to give you guys some examples of what works for me. And... Uh, you can use it because I know a lot of you guys are younger viewers, right? High school, college kids, things of that sort. And even for you 20 year olds, listen guys, Rick the Stick is 30 years old, right? I'm not in my 20s anymore. My Those those peak days are behind me. I'm not saying that I'm gonna, not still going to have the best life ahead of me. I'm just saying though that, you know, I'm not in my uh, ultimate absolute peak at the moment when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, aggression and uh, ambitions. Well, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm just saying I'm 30 years old, guys. I'm not getting any younger. Father time will get the best of all of us. So if you're going to act, if you got a goal, you got to take that chance. You got to take that risk. You got to, it's not even a risk. Don't even look at it as a, resi a risk because I'll tell you something right now. The best in the world, whether in the UFC, whether they're in the Olympics, whether in the NFL, they all lose, right? There's, there's nobody that's had an entirely undefeated life right other than me when I was talking about you know I believe that I have uh, have never been defeated so therefore I'm undefeated in life yes but in terms of uh, a game things of that sort we're all gonna take L's at times but that with that being said it doesn't mean that you're defeated you can still be undefeated in life even if you lose games even if you lose opportunities things of that sort so what am I getting at here guys I'm just getting that. You just got to believe it, man. You just got to believe that you're the best and you're going to be pretty darn close. Uh, for WWE, when, before I do promos or before before I got hurt, you know, when I get in the ring and I would do um, performances and things of that sort, always before I step out of the curtain, whatever it is, I always tell myself, I'm the freaking man. I'm the freaking man. And I just repeat that to myself over and over again. And I know it's silly, but if you believe it, you're not going to stutter. You're not going to doubt yourself. Because you keep ingraining to yourself, you're the freaking man. You're the freaking man. No one's better than you. You're the freaking, you're the best. <laughs> and it sounds very conceited, right? Arrogant. But after all, I mean, it's your life. You got to grab the bull by the horns. You got goals. You got to accomplish it. And it's just that, it's that belief that's going to make you more successful without a doubt. More successful people in life believe that they're the best. I mean, obviously you have to. So that's an, like, I always cut pretty good promos, right? I believe I'm a pretty good performer, pretty good entertainer. And, uh, that's because I believe before I go up there and I tell myself over and over, I'm the, I'm the freaking best. Nobody cuts a better promo than me. Nobody's more entertaining than me. I'm the best. I got this. 
right? So that when I go out there, that's ingrained in my mind. And it's vice versa as well. When I was in college wrestling, I didn't quite have the mindset that I have now. And that's ultimately what made me not as successful as I know I could have been. For example, when I knew I was, when I knew I could win, I won. I, I beat the national champion because I knew I could win. Because I lost, I had a very close loss. So I knew that I could win. I knew it. I know I can do this. I tell myself that I can do this. I can do this. And I would win great matches like that. But then if it was, you know, an opponent that I beat that was a close match, it's like, well, I'm telling myself, like, I don't know if I can win again. It was such a meat grinder last time. It was such a tough match. And I would get blown out of the water because that's the mindset that I was going in with. That's an example. When I was in high school, you know, let's take it down a notch to something much less significant. Um, <clears throat> when I was in high school, I liked this girl that was, she was a senior. I was 16 years old, she was a senior. And I was like, man, like, I'm a great wrestler. You know, this is the point where I started to realize I was pretty good in high school. I'm a great wrestler, like I'm a winner. I'm the best wrestler in this high school. I'm one of the best freaking wrestlers in this state. Like, if I, why can't I, why can't I get this girl, right? So I just, I just had confidence and I just made it happen, right? I just made it happen until she drove me crazy and then I had a dumper. But that's another example on a smaller scale. Um, same thing with uh, WWE. Just even, for the longest time, like I said, when I was in my early 20s, I didn't have the same mindset that I have now. I may not be as good as I once was, or as young at least, whatever. You get what I'm saying. But I'm wiser now, and I believe that makes me better than I've ever have been. I didn't, I didn't try out for WWE until I was 29 years old because it was through the weights and it was through Bulgarian training, success after success. And that's why I love that style of training so much. You're constantly hitting PRs and it's ingraining success in your mind. You're telling yourself, I can do this. I will lift this. I'm the freaking man. And eventually it's that success, that ingrained success in your DNA that makes you realize that, you know what? I can do this. Why can't I? Um, and then I tried out when I was 29 and it's something that in the back of my mind, my coach told me when I was 22 years old that I should try out, or 21 years old, something like that, that I should try out for WWE and that he had a friend and that he could give me a connection for a tryout. And I was like, well, yeah, whatever. But you know, I don't know. I, I don't know. And <laughs> because deep down, I, I don't think I was confident enough that I could be an awesome entertainer. Maybe I didn't have what it takes. You know what I mean? To be in the spotlight. But through lifting and through success and success and all these things in life, I, I tried out and I instantly got hired. The same thing could be said with <clears throat> jobs. I've never applied to a job and not have gotten it. I, when I was a personal trainer, I never approached a client and was not able to train them, right? Because if you believe in something so much and you, and you tell yourself that you're the man you, you, will, you will appear like the man. That's the whole, believing is achieving. That is so cheesy, but it's so true. And I feel like people are always like, well, how do I get in the right mindset? And you know, just, you know, I, I, I just, I'm um, like all these young guys on the internet and stuff. I'm an incel, all these jokes. Like, well, that's because you don't have any confidence, right? Of course, nobody's going to want to, you know, go out with you or whatever like that. You're just uh, a little, you know, beta male, basically. Um, for example, with that being said, I had a friend in high school who, let's be honest, I mean, he was not a good looking dude, but he got a lot of girls. You know why? Just because he was, he was confident and he just went out, right? He just, he just went out there and made it happen, right? You gotta, you gotta swing in order to hit a home run. Like sure, you're going to swing and you're going to miss a couple times, but you're never going to get off. You know what I mean? Like you're never going to get on base or... You're never gonna win a game without swinging. You know what I mean, or whatever Michael Jordan quote. You're never you're gonna miss every shot you don't take. You understand what I'm saying? So this, that's just the main thing, guys. Like I said, I don't want to make this a cheesy, a cheesy, you know, generic video, but these things need to be stressed, and you have to start telling yourself that you know you're the man. Like you, nobody controls your destiny. You control your destiny. It's like we talked about before. Even if you have bad days or bad things happen to you, just Look at it from a positive output and think about, okay, I'm gonna make this better. I'm gonna make this work in my favor because I'm the man, I got these goals, I'm gonna make it happen. Whatever it is you wanna achieve, make it happen. That's all I'm gonna say, cheesy video, cheesy rant over.